Hey guys, today we're taking a look at one of MVP's most popular discs. It's the Axiom Hex. Now the Hex has the numbers 55-11. negative This guy's in the neutron plastic, which you all know I love some neutron plastic. I've been bagging the Hex for a while now, and the reason why I bag it and why pretty much everyone loves this disc is because it is super straight. Very easy to throw. You don't have to throw it hard to get it up to speed, and you get a very straight, very torque resistant flight with very little left to right movement. I've been bagging this guy for a while now and I use it pretty much any time there's a tunnel shot. I love that I can control the distance and I don't really get any type of skip or ground play, just dead straight. We're gonna talk all about that today. We're gonna throw this guy in the field and the course, so let's jump into it. All right guys, here we are in the field throwing some Frisbees. It's a beautiful day to be doing it. We got the Hex. I'm loving the kind of eggplant purple core with the teal rim. It's a beautiful disc, Axiom. Always comes through with those nice looking discs. Now, I've been throwing the Hex pretty much since it came out off and on in 2021. I really enjoy these Neutron Hexes because they're kind of an interesting combination of torque resistant, but also not overstable. Like, I can throw this guy hard and flat. I'm going to get a little bit of drift to the right, just a little bit of turn. Not going to turn all the way over. Comes back at the end. But at the same time, I don't really have to throw it full power. I can throw this really gently and still get a nice straight flight. That's what makes this disc so great for a really wide variety of people, wide variety of arm speeds. You can see I throw it there on the Anheuser. It just holds the line the whole time. Like this thing is really good for shot shaping. You can kind of get it to do whatever you want and you don't have to throw it hard to do that. And here I'm gonna throw it on just a little bit of hyzer and it just pops up to flat, carries. The glide is so good on this thing, just carries and pushes, comes back at the very end. I got a really nice distance with these. Like, 310 to 320 is kind of where I really enjoy throwing my mid ranges, kind of bridging the gap between the Envy and the Proxy for me and my fairway drivers, like the FD that I throw a lot, where I want that putter type flight where it's just really straight, no left to right movement, don't have to worry about the skip. So if I ever have that 300 foot tunnel shot where the Proxy I'd have to like really power up on to get there, like I'd have to throw the Proxy really hard and I'm probably sacrificing control to get there because of how hard I'm throwing it. Instead, I throw the hex because of that glide, I'm getting that distance, but I don't have to worry about the skip. I don't have to worry about deviating off of that initial path that I put it on. And that's what just makes straight mid range is great in general, like the Buzz, the MD3, there's so many good ones out there. The hex is probably my favorite. I think it's the perfect combination of the torque resistance, the neutral stability, and one I'd really recommend to pretty much everyone. I really think everyone should be bagging a straight mid-range. So if you aren't, this is one that you should check out. And you can do that at this video's sponsor, Grow & Throw. Grow & Throw is a retailer here in Columbia, Missouri. You can find them online at growandthrow.shop. They have a really nice variety of discs, including a bunch of MVP and Axiom, so go check them out. But anyways, we're done with the field. Let's head to the course, see this guy in action. All right, guys, now we're at Albert Oakland Park. Gonna test this guy out on the course. Like I said earlier, I throw this guy on pretty much every tunnel shot I come to. So we're gonna hit those tunnel shots on this course, along with a few other shots to just show off how this guy flies. Let's do it. All right, we got our first tunnel shot of the day, 263 feet. Gotta make it through this gap, these two trees here. Basket's just straight ahead. Not the gap I was aiming for. Oh, but that is a great shot nonetheless. See, something I like about the hex there is that even though I didn't get the nose angle right and I threw it too high, sort of really straight flight and didn't like fade out a lot at the end. You can see it just kind of nestled up right up here near the basket. And I really feel like the hex is one of the straightest non-putter molds ever made. It also has a ton of glide, which makes it great for holes like this, which it's a tunnel shot, but it's also slightly uphill, low ceiling. You really need to be able to hit something hard, but you also don't want to go too far. So I love throwing the mid-range here instead of the fairway driver. This is 238 foot par three. Let's get it. Put a little too much hyzer on that one. Thought it would flip up a little bit more, but still got down there, circle one. Now in that situation, if I had thrown the detour on that hyzer, probably would have flipped up a lot more, landed closer to the basket. With the hex, you definitely have to get it on a flatter release to get that straight flight the whole time. Just something to be aware of when you're kind of choosing which one you want to get. There we go. It don't matter. So we're putting today. So this hole is pretty simple. Basket is just right out there, 200 feet away, uphill. 
You can really throw anything on this hole. I like going with something neutral on hyzer just because if I go something overstable, sometimes the hill kind of makes it more overstable than I expect and I fade out to the left. So hex is what I reach for on this shot. All right, 237 foot par three, not a tunnel shot, but we need just a very slight turnover to the right. We don't want to overturn it either. So the hex is pretty good here. I'm usually either throwing this guy or the proxy, just kind of depends on my mood. So we're gonna go with the hex today, of course. That was awful. Oh, that could go in. Oh, <laughs> that would have been so hilarious if that went in. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do the first time. That's gonna go far of the basket, but not too far, still inside circle. And now we're moving on to our last hole. Pretty easy one here, 190 foot, slight uphill. You do have a tree to the left, but otherwise you can kind of do whatever you want. I'm gonna try to bring this in on a little bit of hyzer. I like going mid range here because it's very easy to go long of the basket if I'm throwing a fairway driver, so hex it is. Pretty good. Get in there. Not bad. Well guys, that is gonna do it for the hex. And if you're just looking for a really straight, easy to throw mold, I really can't recommend the hex enough. I also love the Detour. I did a review of the Detour a few weeks ago. That's also a great disc. MVP has a lot of good mid-ranges. They have a very robust mid-range lineup, the Matrix, the Reactor, but the Hex is definitely the straightest. For those flat releases, the Hex is the one that's gonna get the straightest flight by far, so it's a great disc. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Go like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, go check out this video's sponsor, Grow and Throw, growandthrow.shop, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.